For small businesses, ease of use, simplicity, and consistency are very important attributes in the tools we use because we, as small business people, are seldom experts in our administrative areas. So finding the right piece of software for a task, that is paramount. One of the areas that's really important to small businesses is the whole area of cash flow, invoicing. A lot of small businesses, especially those in the service sector, use Microsoft Word or Excel to produce their invoices. And the results? Usually a bit spotty. Your invoices usually look as though they're generated in a word processor or spreadsheet, which is not really professional, and you've got no easy way other than manually to file them and administer them. Well, I found an online application called Invoices to Go when I was looking for a small invoicing package for myself, and I think it's worth a look for you. If you go to their website at Invoice to Go, you see we have a Canadian version, which is essential since we need Canadian tax structure. Now, when you purchase this sort of software, you don't buy it outright, but instead you license it on an annual basis. That's because they're constantly updating it with new tax rules and tax laws, so it's basically an ongoing license fee. Now, you'll pay around $100 to $200 a year to use this software, money which I think is well worthwhile. But if you want to test drive it first, you can download a version, try it out for 30 days, get the feel of it, and see if it works for you. Now, when you go to set it up, I want to walk through the setup process because it'll really show you the capabilities. After you've selected what country you're in and what taxes you need, then you enter things like your company information, including your tax registration number, all the information that needs to be contained in the invoice that you send out to your customers. Moving along is the biggest decision you have to make, and this is how complete a package do you want? Basically, do we want inventory management as well, or do we just want simple invoicing? I just want a simple product and service company, so I'm going to choose simple invoicing. But if you choose the inventory system, you can really fill your boots as far as capabilities of having discount codes and different inventory reports and all that sort of stuff happening, helping you manage a store's or a company's inventory. Then's the fun part. Because we're all about invoicing, we need good-looking invoices, so we go into our templates, which give us our document style for all of our documents, invoices, credit memos, all that sort of stuff. If you're going to be using a black and white printer or a laser printer a lot, choose a black and white invoice. If you're a really classic company, you might want to choose a classic-looking invoice. If you tend to overcharge your customers, I would recommend the loud invoice to make it seem like you're worth more and going on and on. I am going to choose a professional invoice because I feel very professional. You choose the look you want, move into the next field, which allows you to determine what fields are actually contained within your invoice. And you've got lots of choice here. And you think about businesses, there's lots of different things that we're going to want to add to an invoice. As we go through the different check boxes here, and you just have to basically select what fields you want. You choose your taxes first, if you have single or multiple taxes, both GST and PST, or just GST. I just have GST. I don't have any discount codes that I'm going to put in mine. And then you choose if you want a code column because you might want to have different uh, codes for different products that you sell or different services you give, quantity and rates, terms if you offer them, territory. And you can turn on and off each of these. For example, if you don't ship things, turn it off and the shipping information is dropped away. Once you've done all of that, you can then customize it a little bit further. You don't want that little logo at the top. You want to add your own company logo. You click Add My Own Logo. Browse onto your hard drive, find your company logo, and put it on the top, and you end up with the result being a very professional looking invoice. Now, once you're actually in using this day after day, let me jump into my invoicing software here, and let's go in. And I want to show you when you create a new invoice, you can fill in all the information really easily. It's got a little database that contains all of your customer information, so you don't have to enter all of that data each time, including their email address. And one of the things I really like about this is it allows me to send out my invoices in the most effective manner for me, which is email. So once I've filled in all the information in an invoice, I click here in this top button right here, which has the kind of World Wide Web and email symbol, and that will allow me to email it over the internet. And it cre basically creates a PDF document of the invoice itself and sends it to my customer. I really like this feature because it automatically, as a part of the completion process of the invoice, kind of prompts me to send the invoice, which is really important in the whole collection process. You know, this software is one of the little secrets that helps me out on a weekly basis. It doesn't try to be all things to all people. It just creates, sends, and manages my invoices. Now, I don't generate a lot of invoices personally, maybe six to 10 a month, but this software is easy to use. It keeps me organized, and most importantly, it allows me to communicate with my clients the way that I like to communicate. It works for my business, and it works for me.